Do you agree that this dragon must have a fair trial, do we not? Fair trial, I suppose so. Yes. Right. So we're going to have a fair trial. Uh, Sir George, would you like to read out the charges as you as you see them? I have, yes I will. But first of all, do you think you could take a picture of me? Because my, my mummy thinks I haven't got a proper job. And I'm going to prove to her that this is my proper job. Okay, so we're going to prove to her. Okay. On this side. How do I know when it's taken? There you go, that'll do it quite a bit. <laughs> so, where were we? Yes. Yes! So, said Beastie! On there, yes! Now, he is a terrible, horrible creature, a nasty jaws. And the uh, first thing that he did is worrying sheep. Now, I'm against animal testing, because it makes them nervous and they get the questions wrong. But, I'm certainly against animal... Uh, <coughs> Devouring, and that's what that dragon did. It devoured a whole flock of Salisbury sheep. If I may just interject, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very serious charge. Uh, as you know, worrying sheep uh, has very adver adversarial health effects. Uh, at night, when I'm trying to count the sheep, I find myself getting worried with them, and this really doesn't help me help sleep at all. Uh, but the other thing is, it does in fact affect the quality of our meat, and I do love a shepherd's pie. <laughs> Yes, yes, but now the second thing is, um, oh, hang on, i just get somebody to hold my silver helmet. Can I feel so? I've got my half silver helmet. Um, oh, yes, so, so, that's a diagram, is it? Yes, this is our class, Tuesday evenings. Now, here, what happens in the morning? You see, I come out of my castle. I go down to my, uh, my little um, uh, office here to, uh, to drop off the children. If you oh, want, just take right. the other end. Do you see what I mean? Do you want yes, to come? We'll, uh, we'll bring it over here where everyone can see. Uh, I see. Okay. So there's the office. That's where I do my, my business. Number okay. ones, number twos, that sort of thing. And uh, so I came out to my castle Sunday morning. And as I was walking along there, uh, Said road here, there I found dragon poop. Absolutely certain it was dragon poop, and I stepped in it. Yuck, everyone say, yuck. Yeah. yeah, so it's definitely that dragon. I, I, I've got to say, I don't think they're that sympathetic, George. Well, is there anybody here that's ever trodden dog poop? Now, Mum, that's how do you feel if your, your children came home with dog poop on their shoes? Yes, great, sir. It's great. How do you feel if it was dragon Yes. Apart from that, I'm certain he's been eating maidens. Yes, I, I found a severed arm in my garden. Have you bought severed arms we can look at? Uh, I've got the finger. Yes. Uh, yes, there's the finger. Okay, I'm so I could uh, pass that I'll around. Pass the finger around, yes. Okay. And finally, my final charge for said beastie has been setting fire to things all over the shop. He okay. recently went on a holiday to Paris. Look what happened. Notre Dame. <laughs> <laughs> that creature over there. That's a very serious allegation you're making, Mr. George. Yes. Off with his head. Well, right, let's do the and trial with his first. Okay. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we, we're going to get so are there any other charges that any members of the community would like to bring against the dragon? We've got devouring maidens, devouring maidens, defecation, defecation, yeah, some might call path, might call horse path, yeah, um, worrying sheep, worrying sheep, and arson. Awesome. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, I, I have to ask, boys and girls, uh, can you uh, name the missing maiden that is allegedly devoured? Well, no, I always like that was an arm. And the finger. And the finger. Oh, no, okay. Uh, where is the finger, please, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, I get oh, now you look like an expert. Could you tell me, is that a lady's finger or is that a gentleman's finger? It's a lady's finger. Ah, see, that's beyond proof.
fruits there we are. A lady's finger. Well, that is, is rather. Is there anybody who'd like to examine the evidence, dispute the evidence? We have a lady's finger. Oh, we have an expert at the back here. Yeah? Okay. Could you have a look at that? Yes, it's the evidence points towards it. Oh. See what I did there with some Billy says it's a woman's finger. Yes, that's what I said. And where did you find this? Um, somewhere, somewhere in the garden. In the garden? Yes, yeah, in the garden. Right, okay. So, uh, okay. And has, have there been any uh, complaints of missing maidens? Has anybody heard of any complaints of missing maidens? Anybody missing a maiden? No? Anybody oh, missing a finger? <laughs> Can everyone just count your fingers? Count your fingers. Climate change. Climate change. Yeah, so they, 
Okay, well, I'm just going to see if we've got any experts. Uh, boys and girls, can any of you go on strike from school to save the planet recently? <laughs> uh, any parents been on strike to save the planet recently? We're doomed. We're doomed. We're doomed. We're doomed. We're very disappointed. I did think we had at least one hippie in the audience. <laughs> that have been to London. Oh, hang on, hang on, we have, we have you, sir, at the back. Have you been on strike to save the planet? Yes, sir. Were you up in London, Piccadilly? No. So, we're doomed. We're doomed. We're doomed. You could have at least flown there like Emma Thompson did. <laughs> <laughs> no, can we just get on? I don't want to kill that thing. Right, hang on, hang on. We've got to find him guilty first. He's got to have a fair trial. Right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I ask, has anybody here eaten an iffy shepherd's pie lately? Yes, oh, we have, we have a gentleman at the top there, nodding his head sagely. Okay, can I ask, where did you buy the shepherd's pie? Oh, in the market. Was it a local produce farmer's market? It probably was. It probably was. So we had a local shepherd's pie. Was it iffy? Iffy, it was very iffy, yes. Very iffy. Yeah. Did it taste as though the sheep had been worried? It did, it did. It did? Yeah. There was, a, there was a... That was strong evidence. That yes. Was. Uh, I'm just going to consult with my clients. He wants to know, did it come pre packed or was it, uh, was it fresh? Uh, it was fresh, but frozen. Fresh but frozen. He says it's probably horse meat. <laughs> well then, maybe he's been worrying horses. We all worry horses. He's not on charge for punning horses. Sorry about that. Okay, so worrying sheep. What are the charges? Were there arson? Arson, yes. Arson. Did anybody. Right, okay, first of all, have there been any buyers lately? Not much now, is it? No. Mrs. 
brown sword. Okay, what does she think of his silver sword? Okay, Billy, as your teacher, uh, uh, she's a missus. Okay, what colour hair does she have? Brown hair, okay. Billy, on your honour now, now you just put your hand up, okay, on the night of the fire at Notre Dame, did you or did you not witness the dragon flying over Salisbury? I rest the case of the face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, 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 you're always not lost. Bit, so you did not witness the dragon flying over Salisbury. Okay, so what was the point you were going to make? She just put her hand up for nothing. What was the point to go to the toilet? Have you ever seen the dragon flying over the sword? <laughs> She's honest, I'll give her that. On, honestly, okay. Have you ever seen the dragon before? Never seen the dragon. Did you see the dragon on the TV flying around Notre Dame on the night of the question? No. Have you seen the footage on the TV of the Notre Dame fire? No. I've got the wrong witness you want. <laughs> <laughs> Well, just get on with it. Don't worry about the shit. Don't worry about the bit of charge. I must emphasize, if we don't get this right, if we don't get this right, that poor dragon there is going to barbecue by the end of the day. Yes. yes. Right. We're going to have Kentucky Fried Dragon. Okay. We wow. don't want the dragon barbecue. No. So can you give any evidence at all that might mitigate all charges against the dragon? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I could be a floor billy for her honesty, well done. Oh, well, that's enough. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Just a kid. She's a very honest kid. I'd like, I hope the jury will take that into account. Thank you very well there. Okay, is there anybody else who can offer any evidence at all that might mitigate the charges against the dragon on the night of the fire at Notre Dame? Oh, we've got, we've got. Okay, rather than drag you, would you like to stand up at the back, young lady? Stand on your chair. And for those of you in the gallery, there's a lady stood at the back. She's about 10 years old, right? And she's very pretty. Right, young lady, right. Uh, can you provide an alibi for the dragon? Where were you on the night of the fire at Notre Dame? At where, sorry? At the cathedral. At the cathedral. At the cathedral. Yes. Which cathedral? Notre Dame or Salisbury? <laughs> Salisbury Cathedral. Yes. Right, now she's going to provide an alibi for the dragon. Okay. Were you inside the cathedral or outside the cathedral? Outside the cathedral. When you were at the cathedral on the night in question, okay, did you or did you not witness any dragons flying around? Yes! You say yes. 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 Would you like, is that dragon in this courtroom today? Yes. Yes. Would you like to point to the dragon? If you can see any dragon, I will not help you in any way. <laughs> Would you like to point to the dragon you saw flying around the cathedral on the night in question? Please point to the dragon. Oh. I wish those in the upper gallery to, to note that she is pointing to this dragon here. Can I kill it now? No! No! Right. Ladies, I put to the jewelry. You are the jewelry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm putting to the jewelry. The dragon was in fact here in Salisbury at the night of the alleged incident at Notre Dame, and we've all established that the means of the dragon were anyway. So, so I, I'm going to rest my case and say this dragon could not have been responsible for the fire at Notre Dame. Are there any other charges that you'd like to bring against the dragon? Oh, well. Got bad breath for a start. Okay. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes. Bad breath. You saw the dragon flying around as well. Okay, was it. How, how high was it flying? 
How far? High as a house. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, we have another witness who saw the dragon. And on which night did you see the dragon fly? Sorry, could you speak up? You saw the dragon fly in Mars? <laughs> Thumbs up, guilty, thumbs down. 
Are you counting? Right, this is a bit close, isn't it? It's a bit like Brexit again, really. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think George, I think they're going to be asking for a second referendum. <laughs> right, okay. I think that's a humge wall. 50-50. 15. 15 in favour, how many against? How many up, how many down? Don't know. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a hung jury. Oh. That means I can kill him a little bit. No, before that, I think we have to ask, we have to ask the jury if they think you're guilty of perjury. Ladies and gentlemen, St George, perjury, the patron saint of England, uh, dragon slayer extraordinaire, uh, has never appeared at a World Cup. Yeah. And I've never been in Dorothy Perkins. St <laughs> George is charged with a serious offence of committing perjury. If you think that St George is guilty of perjury, you must hold your thumbs down. If you think he's innocent of the charge, you must hold your thumbs up. I think it's conclusive. St. George, we find you guilty of perjury. Okay, I'm just going to talk to the judge about the summing up. Okay, because we're going to pass sentence. Okay, now you look at your grace. I would like to say it's his first offence. He has served the country very, very well. And what he has done is been found guilty especially in court. Or, you could decide that he's a very, very wicked man and have him put to death by his own sword. <laughs> it's entirely up to you. You are the judge. You have to adhere to your decision. No pressure. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> So, okay, I'm going to make it very simple. Probation, he's good and doesn't misbehave for the rest of his life. Or, right, trial by combat with a real dragon. I swallowed my sword. What do you think? Mm -hmm. She said she didn't say swallow your sword. <laughs> and like, so, so, do you think you can fail? Trial by combat. They get to watch the trial. We get to see a dragon meeting, okay, in a very good dragon direction. And it's fair. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the judge, okay, in her own words, let the dragon eat him. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, what we've decided is the judge has decided, St George, that you will be taken from this place where you will face the dragon in trial by combat. No, I'm going to do it right here and there. Whoever emerges victorious <laughs> will obviously emerge victorious. If you are not guilty, you will be the victor. Dragon, I think that's only fair. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you all for coming.